just feel like standing up for a second. A few years ago, I fell asleep with the radio on in my room. You remember radios? I guess it was more than a few years ago. And I woke up in the night because I heard a sound in my room that I'd never heard before. It was a voice, but it wasn't a human voice. And I lay in the dark listening to this strange singing. And at the end, the announcer came on to say that that was the voice of a humpback whale. I never heard such a strange and such a haunting and beautiful kind of music before. And some of the sounds reminded me of the sounds that a cello can make. So, of course, I wanted to go to meet a whale if I could. And I did have a chance. I went to a place down in Baja, California, where the gray whales come about this time of year to give birth to their baby whale calves. They swim down from the cold waters in the Arctic to have their babies in this beautiful, the warm bays of Mexico. And we went out in this sparkling blue bay in a little rowboat. We'd been told there were a couple of dozen whales there, so we need, knew we'd see one because, of course, they're not fish. They're mammals. They breathe air like we do. And before too long, we saw off in the distance a whale rise up out of the water. And with a great spray, she let loose all the old air in her lungs, took in fresh air, and disappeared under the water. And even from a distance, we could tell she was huge. And I'll never forget what my friend said. He said, whoa. <laughs> said, you know, an animal that big could blast this little robe up to smithereens. You do realize that, don't you? So we were kind of thinking that over, wondering where that or some other whale would come up. And we were totally stunned when a mother whale came up right next to our boat. Came up so close, I literally could have reached out and touched her with my hand. But the way she came up was so slow, so gently out of the water, that we didn't feel threatened or anything like that. I, I really think she was just as curious about us as we were about her. Yeah, one flick of a tail could have sent us on our boat flying, but something about that moment of eye-to-eye -eye contact with this basketball of a whale eye right next to the boat, so intense. It all seemed to happen in slow motion. And after she passed, then her baby whale calf came up too, just to give us a look. Nice little thing, only about 17 feet long. <laughs> Never forget that moment. You know, Rami mentioned uh, when I first met him yesterday that some years ago that he had actually listened to these whales recordings as part of a sacred practice, as kind of a meditative practice. And, uh, and I feel that when I listen to these. And I've listened to hundreds of hours of these whale tapes in the process of creating some music that featured some of the recordings of the humpback whales in our music. And it reminds me of a practice that is 40,000 years old from the Northern Territories of Australia, practiced by the Aborigines. It's a practice called Dadiri. And Dadiri is a kind of quiet listening. It's an outdoor practice where you find a place in nature with the idea of hearing the voice of God in the environment as you sit there, in the sounds of birds, in the sounds of water running, in the sounds of the wind being manifested in trees, seeking the voice of God in this quiet way. Scientists have studied these songs of humpback whales, and we've made exhaustive analysis, but there aren't really good reasons to explain why they sing these songs. And you know, they're called songs because they can be up to an hour in length. This uh, sequence of groans and moans and whistles and shrieks, and which they then just repeat absolutely verbatim. And a whole community of whales in a given area will sing the same song. And you come back the next year and put your hydrophones down in the water, and you notice that they're singing a little different song. And again, the whole community is singing this kind of hallelujah chorus 
uh, all together. So this is a piece that was inspired by that eye-to-eye -eye encounter with uh, the gray whale. And this is a recording of a humpback whale, a piece I call Humpback Harmony.
Thank you. 